people really dislike this sound. Personally, I'm a huge fan of the buzz, and I love heading into an area that's teeming with these extremely fascinating red-eyed insects. Leaves and soft plant tissue. Cicadas, on the other hand, feed primarily on xylem liquids, which contain water, amino acids, and minerals. Now the distribution. Now the periodical cicadas that can be found right now in June of 2019 in the Northeast belong to brood number eight. So if you live in western Pennsylvania, eastern Ohio, in the tip of the northern panhandle of West Virginia, then you've probably heard or have come into contact with these insects. Now the last time this brood emerged was in 2000. Something that gets inside the bodies of these cicadas causes their abdomens to fall off and alters the behaviors of these cicadas to a significant degree. Of course, I'm talking about a fungus here, and this is a fungus I probably won't see again in this region for over a dozen years. So let's go see. contact with spores from a pathogenic fungus known as Massospora cicadina. While many of these nymphs will continue their life cycle unscathed by the fungus, a small percentage of the insects, around 2 to 5 percent, will soon develop an infection that manifests itself as a blown out abdomen and a powdery mass of fungal spores. Cut! 